My name is Leslie Sachina and I own and operate Cylon Rolling Acres. We're a grass-based farm in western Wisconsin. Specifically in Deer Park, we raise meat goats on pasture and we direct market all of our, our goat meat in western Wisconsin and the Twin Cities and also um, in the last year I've started a nationwide shipping program so we've been able to share our goat meat in a broader geographical reach as well. Our farm is about 140 acres and we have about 20 acres in permanent pasture and then the rest of it um, includes quite a bit of woods and other hayland and we also utilize a lot of that area for grazing our goats. Our herd is boar Kiko cross and we have about 40 head of breeding stock. I'm continuing to grow my herd to about 70 to 80 head and each year our goats will typically have one to two kids so then our, our numbers will really jump up in scale so we can be anywhere up to somewhere between um, 90 to maybe even 150 goats at a high. My goal has always been to direct market our meat. Part of it, um, I knew it was an avenue to help us be able to have a little more control on our, on our price and, and manage the financial side of things a little bit more for our farm. But it didn't start out that way that we were direct marketing. So as we got started with our herd, I didn't, um, because I didn't grow up raising goats, it, um, as I got started, I really focused on managing a herd and getting the feel of the production side of things before we really started focusing on direct marketing. So the first few years, our goats were sold to a traditional livestock market, and we are also retaining does to add to our herd for breeding animals. And that's really been true with right now. Even now, I'm adding animals to our herd to continue to grow. You know, after a couple years, we worked with butcher shops to sell whole and half animals to customers, um, in addition to selling our animals to the livestock market. But from the beginning, I also started building our kind of our awareness of our farm and what we were doing. So even though I, I wasn't doing a lot of direct marketing to start with, we built our website, an online social media presence. At the time, it was more Facebook heavy. Now we're more focused on Instagram but and, and Facebook still. And then I also started building our email list. And so those things were continuing to grow each year so I could carry our potential customers along um, in the process of learning about what we're doing on our farm and the day-to-day -day, um, activities and then also with the idea that when we were ready to market and sell our animals at a larger scale we were able to already have folks warmed up to us through those different communication channels and so um, we started to look at where what direction are we going to do to move these goats because as we got to that point we started to have more substantial amounts of number of market animals and so at that time we decided to invest in getting a license um, to have on-farm storage to sell cuts of meat. Now our wholesale business is really the large percentage of our market so we're selling to some restaurants and some buyers who have their own online grass-fed meat bait customers and then also um, some grocery retail sites and also continuing to grow our direct-to-consumer market. In the direct-to-consumer market, the majority of what we sell is, is by the cut or in bulk boxes. We will usually do one time a year like a whole goat sale. Goats are pretty small and pounds of meat, so about 25 to 30 pounds of meat. So we just focus on whole animals when we do that sale and everything is sold online through our website for on-farm pickup or shipping um, nationwide. Even folks who are in kind of in our geographical footprint of you know, the upper Midwest even have um, found the shipping option to be a convenient option for them. But we do have a local pickup option for folks who are in the area or even willing to drive you know, from the cities about an hour out to our farm. So that's really been our focus on growing that direct-to-consumer market. Wholesale has been a nice way for us to move more animals and also create um, awareness of our meat as well. So that's been our direction um, and kind of progression over time and in getting into the direct market. Um, I'd say the last two years, um, we really hit the point where everything we sell has been um, direct marketed. Um, and I say that broadly, you know, on the wholesale and direct to customer side of things. But outside of that, we've really focused, I've really focused hard on digital marketing strategies and so that comes through with social media and then also using email marketing and so we will correspond our email marketing with our order deadlines for both farm pickup and shipping and that's really helped us um, get in front of our customers and continue to have um, connection with them. I'd say 80% of what we're doing on social media is really about relationship building versus sales 
and it's it makes telling our story as a farmer a lot easier but it also makes it a lot easier for when we do want to offer sales or do some salesy promotion type um, communication it just it feels more real and ultimately I want to get our followers and our community online transition to our email list because our email list we, we own that we, we have that we pay for that subscription service you know social media you know can go away at any time I hope it does but you know the algorithms change and how you we do things and so we really find that that email list is how we communicate with our, our, our customers in terms of more of this, the sales side of things. But even with that, we've been really focused on giving, adding value to our customers. So most of our, our communication will include recipes or guides on how to cook, other information related to, um, you know, and how we're farming and, and ways for them to learn more about goat meat and different, and different techniques that way. So it's really been um, trying to look at marketing in a more a bigger relation, bigger picture as a relationship piece with our customers than just sales has been um, has been good for us and I really recommend other folks kind of look at taking that approach as well.